Today we're going to go through a lesson where we're going to be drawing some geometric shapes. We're going to start off by just playing with the ruler to draw some segments of the following lengths. I'm going to do the 12.8 centimeters with you. And if you look at your angle ruler, there's different places on it with measurements. Find the space with centimeters. Centimeters have 10 spaces in between them. So if I'm going to do 12.8, I'm starting at the zero, which is where the green is. We're going to go past 12. That's 12.5, 6, 7, 8. And then I'm going to label it 12.8 centimeters. And I'll leave it to you to go back and do the 4 centimeters and 7.2. <clears throat> Next, we're going to look at how to use an angle ruler to make an angle. So this says draw complementary angles. Remember, complementaries are angles that are like corners, which means that they are equal to 90 degrees. We want one of the angles in the complementary angle to be 35 degrees. So I'm first going to set my angle ruler to 90 degrees. Again, making sure that, that little crown looking piece is above the 90. And I'm going to lay it on my page and draw 90 degrees. And then I want one of the angles to be 35 degrees. So if I set this to 35, there's the 30 and just after it is 35, I'm going to set this here so that I can draw this angle here. And I missed the corner by a little bit, but we're pretty close. That's 35 degrees. How would I find this other angle? Well, it's going to be 90. Gill, could you please come to the main office? Ms. Gill, please come to the main office. Thank you. It's 90 degrees minus the 35 degrees is going to be our label for here. And I'll let you guys find that on your own. We're going to keep going here, drawing vertical angles so that one angle is 125 degrees. Well, what do we know about vertical angles? If one angle is 125 degrees, we're going to have two opposite angles that are 125 degrees. So we're going to have two of them that are 125. Looking at the angle ruler, find where it says 120. Right there. And 125 is going to be one more notch up. And if I draw that angle here, and then I keep this set to 125. I can turn it over and double check that it's still at 125 by looking where the crown is. And where they intersect, I'm going to continue. The other way I could have done that is just laid my ruler down on that line and continued the angle. So this is 125 degrees, and this is 125 degrees. And as we learned last week, if I focus on this angle here, that's 180 degrees. So the section in here is going to be the 180 minus 125 will tell us the angle measurement of these two vertical angles. We actually don't have a compass to use, so we're going to cross off number four and go down to number five. This says to draw a rectangle that we're going to label A, B, C, D, so that A, B is equal to C, D, which is equal to 8 centimeters, and then B, C, and A, D are 3 centimeters. That means we're going to have two side lengths that are 8. And we're going to label this one A and this one B. And then the short side lengths of a rectangle are 3 centimeters. So we're going to set this up here like this. This would be C, and down here will end up being D. And I'll let you finish making that rectangle. Another length of 8, another length of C. On the last page, I'm going to give you a couple of practice problems to do on your own. Here you're drawing another rectangle, but with side lengths of 5 and 7 centimeters. And instead of using your protractor, you're going to use your angle ruler, which does the same work as a protractor, your angle ruler, to draw a right triangle DEF. 
make sure you're labeling all sides and angle measurements. So to draw a right angle, triangle, you're going to first need a right angle and you're going to connect the sides and then see if you can determine what the measurements are of the two extra angles you created. And that's going to be our work for today on geometry.